What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Weasel Fish. It's been a long time coming of doing absolutely nothing because we never got an ice fishing season around here. We got one day and there was no water at all underneath the ice, it was terrible. Anyways, today we got the vehicle loaded up and we're ready to go shore fishing for some giant walleye. The water just hit 44 degrees. That's the magic time. Let's go get them. Yeah, not a bad walleye for sure. It's huge. It's freaking huge. I don't know what the hell this could be. Staying down. Giant walleye. <laughs> it's a giant walleye. Do you have one? No. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Crazy dude. Oh, oh. Dang it. That oh, that was huge. That was like a 23 incher. At least. Oh man. Always been just like that already, eh? Jesus. Alright, let's try this again. I'll retie there. I lost, I don't have a net, eh? So I'm just kind of reeling it up and it, it snapped right on my fluorocarbon lead. What's that? Right there. Yeah, but I don't want to get in their way. Yeah, you can say excuse me from here. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah, not a bad walleye for sure. Been out here longer. No, I, that was my second cast. No way. Yeah. I lost one on my first, it was even bigger than that one. Come on. Yeah. Oh yeah, just not today. What What are you doing? Just casting? Is it flawed and just take it back? Yeah. They're usually hitting a boat right in here once they get close to shore. So they're spawning up shallow here. Yeah. There you go. Another one. So 
one feels a bit heavier. Yeah, look at that. That's not bad. <laughs> Yeah, I'm thinking so. What did you do? Oh, I guess last time it was a little lighter, right? so it's not as... No, it's about the same size. I'm just waiting for him to... Yeah, quit thrashing around. And then once he's too tired, I'll pick him up. So he doesn't snap my line off. Yeah. It's actually lighter than the last one. Get in there. Perfect. All right, guys, second walleye of the trip. So far that I've been able to hold in my hands. Actually, I don't know how the first one played out for you. Let's bring him back. Let somebody else catch him. This green back to him. It's uh, it's getting pretty crazy out here today. I already have, uh, well, I caught, hooked into three, brought two in. I don't know how the coverage is because it's been absolutely terrible so far, but uh, it's so far it's been pretty good. Nice long rod, a 6.9 biotic blade. I can feel a lot of things down there. Got a Shimano Stratic attached to it. Good drag system to fight those big fish. Sliding over a bit. <laughs> you got one? I'll borrow it. Like yeah, it feels pretty good actually. Watch out. Got him? Yeah. Beautiful. Thanks man, appreciate it. Holy crap. Beautiful. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it. Yeah. All right, guys, check this bad boy out. That is a solid fish right here. Hopefully you can see here, I got the tactical minnow. Black and red slash burgundy jig head. And this big guy crushed it. Beautiful. All thinned out though, eh? Nice fish. I'll take it. I'll take it. All right, guys, this is going a lot better than I thought. I already caught well, technically four, lost the one. This is going by pretty good. Sun went sun went away, and I found that the boat, the bite really slowed down here. So let's see if it can pick up as the uh, the night goes on here. I don't think so. Doesn't feel that big. Just a little scrapper. Alright, let's see if we can swing him in here. Alright guys, here's another one, a little smaller than the last one I caught. It's starting to pick up a little bit. I think that's because the uh, sun's starting to go down, it's just that prime time hour. Beautiful, switched to a little bit darker colors and now they're starting to turn out a little bit more. It's perfect. Sweet. Oh. I can't move this one. This this one's huge. You have to swing in over there, I think. 
Come on. No, it's not bad. It's not bigger than the last ones I caught. Oh, don't shake, don't shake. Gotcha. That's not bad either. Hooks pops right out. Another fish for the books. Here we are. Another little eater. Perfect. Nice. Good the water. Yeah. You want him? Yeah. All right, guys, that's going to be a wrap for me today. We did get a limit. I'm going to wrap it up because it's just getting way too busy out here. Kind of hard getting our lines tangled up. and It's just getting annoying. All along shore, they're asking, what are you using? What are you using? I'm using the uh, Bionic Blade Bass Pro Shop Special. Pretty awesome. 6.9 gets me out deep. Can, uh, what was I saying here? <laughs> Gets me out deep. It uh, has that enough sensitivity where I can feel every little tick. I'm using the uh, 5 8 ounce jig with a uh, red and black head. Using the tactical fishing minnow, brand new this year. Check them out. Pretty awesome, and it has that new technology where this thing, I'll push this thing all day. It will not break off, it will not come off your lure. And look how much that stretches does not break awesome awesome quality lure and I'm using eight pound fire line braid really sensitive thin don't go too thick I could say max you go 10 pound test and hopefully that will catch help you catch a few more walleye out of the Detroit River anyways guys take care I'll see you next time out of the water